Hi, uh, so it's me again on my research blog Discover Social Sciences. Uh, I continue the topic or I continue the line of thinking that I started uh, in my last update. I mean I am uh, trying to use some observations about the early infancy of the Bitcoin, about the emergence of the Bitcoin uh, when it uh, was supposed to be like a like a safety boat, like a dinghy uh, for people who are really short of cash and short of credit for the small businesses and I'm trying to apply my observations to the current situation, to the situation which uh, many local communities and local markets find themselves in with those lockdowns connected to the COVID-19 epidemic. Uh, so I'm starting to sketch, to sketch some ideas uh, some concepts uh, are coming to my mind, so I am trying now to use that video to phrase it for myself and for you, for my readers. And uh, so if you click uh, on the link to my blog, discoversocialsciences.com, under the video, uh, you will find an update with the same title as this video, and in that update you will find a more elaborate explanation uh, of the idea I, I, am, I am trying to coin up. <clears throat> so here is the, uh, my starting point. Uh, that virus is going to stay with us for a long time, probably, according to everything that I read about it. And uh, as this pathogen will be staying with us, we will be inevitably accumulating large amounts of what I would call key epidemic assets. So we will inevitably accumulate large stocks of personal protection equipment like gloves, masks, facial covers, uh, googles, uh, uh, scrubs, uh, uh, ethylic alcohol for disinfection, soap, uh, all that stuff will be simply needed. Of course, we will need also medical equipment. Uh, in the first place, we will need ventilators and we will probably accumulate in local communities, in local hospitals over the years to come, we will accumulate ventilators. But we will also need other stuff, other medical equipment. We simply will, I suppose, that as a species, as a civilization, <clears throat> we will be progressively learning to be prepared for a large epidemic outbreaks, something that we have almost forgotten how to handle it. So we will accumulate those large amount of assets serving for, I would say, epidemic protection. And in the same time, we need to be ready for occasional lockdowns and we need to be ready for restarting local markets after a lockdown. So here is the idea that I come up with, that I am progressively sketching in my mind. What if we create something like a virtual currency? It could be crypto currency or a currency based on a central ledger. I am not uh, like determining right now the, the exact uh, digital form. So what if we create a virtual currency uh, with tokens of value corresponding to like futures contracts on those stocks of medical equipment of those epidemic assets that will ac accumulate. The idea is that, for example, if I am a supplier of, of latex gloves, I supply a cargo of latex gloves today to a local hospital, but the hospital doesn't have money to pay me. Uh, so they pay me with those tokens, which correspond to like futures contracts on the same cargo of gloves. Huh? I know it sounds a little bit stupid, a little bit counterintuitive, but look, it is, for, for example, the way that coffee gets traded very largely. Uh, if you buy coffee, especially in large quantities, you don't buy coffee that is already there in the warehouse. You buy coffee that is that will grow in the next harvest. Huh? So let's suppose that we'll have those that virtual currency uh, based on futures contracts and those futures contracts will be claims on those medical assets necessary for 
protecting ourselves against uh, against the pandemic. Uh, the idea is that if a hospital which doesn't have money to pay for those supplies pays a supplier with those tokens, that supplier could possibly put it in circulation further. For example, the supplier could pay uh, their own suppliers of intermediate goods, maybe the supplier could use those tokens to pay a part of salaries to employees. Of course, uh, it all uh, looks very general and, uh, very, and very foggy, and I am honest, it is still very foggy in my mind. I am trying to verbalize those, uh, those ideas, to phrase them out, so, uh, so as to coin up something more structured. So, after that short video introduction, which actually has just helped me to phrase out something, I invite you to click on the link below the video and to go and read uh, that full update I am placing today on my blog. Hmm? So, hi and have a nice Sunday.